watching That's Not News, everybody, and by now, you should know that this is the show that looks at the world weird, wacky, wonderful, and willy. What? No. From around the web, from the past seven days, all of the W's bar the willies. Yes, there won't be any willies in this episode, let's hope. Coming up on today's show, we'll be teaming up with you guys at home and reviewing the updated version of Takeshi's Castle. A little chat about Stranger Things 2. And of course, we'll award the much coveted king or queen of the internet. Are you ready? I'm ready, baby. Are you ready? Crown me now. But first, there's only one way to start, and it's on Netflix, where the hype this week has been building. Topshop have even redone the whole of the front of the shop. Mental, have you seen it? It's insane. Around the second series, David, of Stranger Things. Not sure why you did the voice. Good voice though. If you don't know what Stranger Things is, you've either been living under a rock or you're an idiot. <laughs> you're the idiot. Yes, I said it. Either way, it's basically a sci-fi drama set around a group of friends who go on a search, yes. on a manhunt for a lost friend in a different dimension. You get sucked in to the upside down world and they try and find him. Uh, I think it's one of the best shows on Netflix. Uh, I actually read some stats the other day that 14 million people watched the first one and get this. 70% of viewers that watched the first episode of the first series of Stranger Things watched the entire first season. Addictive television. Yes, I think it's overrated. You're an idiot. How can you think it's overrated? Oh, it's just, it's, it's, it's not a bad show in the slightest. It's actually very good. But the way people go on about it, like, it's like they're comparing it to like the greats, like your Mad Men's and your Sopranos. And your, it's, it's, it's five kids. Trying to find someone in some stupid Yeah, but universe. it's brilliantly shot. It's awesome. I mean, Stranger Thing 2 is so hyped now. It's, I think the best thing about it is the kid, kids acting. The kids acting are, is yeah, outrageous. Yeah, they, are, they are very good. But that doesn't mean it's a great show. Yeah, but obviously they took home loads and loads of awards. I think it's the seventh most watched show in Netflix history. It's very good. This it's, series it's is going to be hyped. probably taken even higher. It's not. It's not. It's got a great soundtrack. It's got that, you know, Stephen King kind of vibe to it. And I think it has a very, like, it's a, a lot of, it has a lot of nostalgia for a lot of people. Yeah, true. Who, who actually, the people that have actually subscribed to Netflix. That's why people love it so much. And they're going, well, you know, Stranger Things. But in reality, it's not that good of a show. Oh, I think this is right up there with the best shows ever. I'm being serious. But what do you think at home? Who do you agree with, me or Dave? And is Stranger Things up there in the all-time great Netflix shows? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Next up, we're going to the most important part of the show. Yes, you guessed it, it's Fans Corner, where we team up with you guys at home to review something that's been making the headlines over the past seven days and send it to fame or to shame. Joe actually had to count how many fingers he yeah, had down there. Not, not the best point. Anyway, that's right. Last week we offered up Star Wars The Last Jedi and you guys literally voted in your thousands. So thank you, you very much for that. And I think it's fair to say that this was only ever going to go to one side, wasn't it, Josephine? Yes. But what side was it, my friends? Of course, it was the Hall of Fame. In fact, a massive 76% of you voted to send The Last Jedi to join FIFA 18 over there. But it's a new week, and as such, it's time to review a new thing. And this week saw the return of a cult classic TV That's show, That's right, David. our man Sir suggested to us that we look at the one, the only. It's Takeshi's Castle. Roll that funky video, white boy. Once in a generation, there comes a show that defines an era. A show about people getting smacked in the face. It's bigger. It's better. It's back. Join me, Jonathan Ross, for brand new Takeshi's Castle. This Japanese gem is returning to Comedy Central, and what have they done to it? It's got a whole new look feel, modernised. It's got Jonathan Wasp commentating on it instead of the iconic Craig Charles. They've ruined it. It's modernised health and safety rubbish. The original people were genuinely breaking backs. Yes, we'll be back on our screen soon with the one and only Jonathan Ross, but what we want to know from you guys at home by voting in the poll, should we send Takeshi's Castle to the Hall of Fame or the Hall of Shame? Click the button and vote right now. Obviously send this to shame. Whoa, I don't know. Seriously, modernised rubbish. But anyway, we also want your suggestions for next week's Hashtag Fans Corner. Get them in the comments now and you will be featured. Viral clip of the week time now, Joe. And would you, Adam and Eve, it, your mate, Jonathan Ross, is getting his second shout-out of the week because of his talk show, 
produced one of the greatest, maybe finest moments in British TV history this week. What an exaggeration. What an exaggeration. But seriously, it is quite funny. That's because the nation's favourite grime superstar, Stormzy, appeared with his best mate, my hero, Bradley Walsh. And unsurprisingly, the bromance was very, very real, David. Stormzy's here with me, man. It's all right. Stormzy, Legend. how are you, man? Legend. Legend CC. Legend. Top Thanks. Man. Top man. Top man. Stormzy. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks, Stormzy. But that wasn't our viral clip of the week. No. 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 No, no it wasn't. Because that came shortly after when Stormzy revealed that he constantly argues with his girlfriend. Like me and you, Dave, bickering. We do like to bicker. Um, about whether or not he could actually mug the chase because a six foot five rapper claims he would mug it very easily. No, it's a lie, Storms. You wouldn't mug the actual chase. You might have murked this nonsense rip off that we've said is a viral clip of the week. But if you were actually there under pressure with the time and you had the beast taking you on, Mark Lebet, six foot eight of him, you wouldn't be murking bad. anything. How many copies of Bradley Walsh's debut album, Chasing Dreams, <laughs> were sold? in 2016. Grimey. It was indeed 111,650 storms a year. So as you can see, storms, it came out on top, but what we want to see is the big man on our very own quiz. You know nothing. Let's make it happen. Do you think you could beat him? Uh, Stormzy, yeah. I'd probably lose to Stormzy. He seems like he's got better knowledge and quite frankly, I'm embarrassing. If you haven't watched this week's You Know Nothing already, I'd go back and watch it now because I've utterly humiliated myself. Um, which uh, state used to be part of Russia? Shut your mouth. Was it East Germany? Sure. And finally, it's our king of the internet. <laughs> Mom, I broke it! You did not. And this story has to be one of the most bizarre we have ever had on the show. Get this headline. MMA fan goes to watch fight, ends up fighting and wins international belt. What? 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 Step forward, Luis Philippe Adrim, a keen fight fan who is also a black belt in Muay Thai and a blue belt in Jiu Jitsu, who went to watch an MMA event in Brazil, thought he was going to be disappointed when the main event was cancelled due to an injury. But, or... but, Alvin decided he could get his big break and thought he would go backstage, offer up a few services, and would you believe it, the champion, Carlos Rofinho, accepted, thinking he could just extend his 5-1 record to an easy sixth win. Maybe even a knockout, an early one if that. Go home early, have a nice little Brazilian munch. What Relax. was that then? What's Brazilian munch? Paella, is it? No, <laughs> Spanish. Again. Anything else? No. A bit of samba. Yes, he can enjoy some samba with his 6 and 1 record, but no, that was not the case. Because the man gets in the ring and actually makes him tap out. Um, but this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. There is a video playing on the screen now. He was there in front of 1,500 people, all watching on, expecting a crucifixion. Oh, what? Is that a word? <laughs> Might have just made it up. But nevertheless, it didn't happen. Alvin won the belt. His family went mental. And as you can see, this is more than worthy of our king of the internet. Congratulations, Alvin. Put them explosions on screen now. So that's, that's not news. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you all of the Football Daily family that came over and subscribed to our brand new channel. Yes, and make sure you get your suggestions in for hashtag fans corner for next week. Vote up there to send, uh, what was it this week? Takeshi's Castle to fame or shame. Memory is not great. And go off and watch You Know Nothing like we said earlier. Thanks so much for watching. Jacko, sign them off. Peace.